Hey guys, Thrasher here, and today we're looking at the crafting system in Anthem. Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so the first thing we should mention is that there are multiple rarities of items, and there are two different pieces that you have to complete to actually create and craft an item. So first off, let's talk about the rarities. There's common, which is white. There's uncommon, which is green. There's blue, which is rare. And then there is epic, which is purple. And then we move into masterwork, which is orange. And then the final and highest tier, which is legendary. And those are marked as yellow items. Here's how this works. As you go through the game, you're going to collect specific weapons, specific uh, armaments, things of that nature. Once you get an armament, you're going to get a challenge. You wear that armament and you complete story missions or strongholds. As you complete those, you're going to complete different tiers of that challenge. So one example is if you have the flamethrower. If you equip the flamethrower and you complete so many stronghold or free play missions with the flamethrower, you'll complete the challenge for flamethrower 1. Once you complete that, you can then craft an uncommon flamethrower because it will give you that blueprint. Now that you've completed that challenge, it's going to give you the flamethrower challenge too. You'll have to do even more strongholds or free play missions. Once you complete that, you can then make rare flamethrowers, assuming that you have the correct compounds. Now there are multiple compounds you have to collect. Most of them you can just collect through free play. They will be things that look like flowers, they'll look like red crystals, purple minerals, things of that nature. And then the other thing you're going to need are embers. Now the ember that you need is going to relate to the specific rarity of item that you're trying to create. If you're trying to create an uncommon item, you're going to need uncommon embers. If you're trying to create a rare item, you're going to need rare embers. In the VIP demo, it only went up to rare items. So as you have a higher rarity of weapon or armament, it will increase the power uh, relative to the rarity of the item. So what you need to do there is make sure that you're farming the right kind of compounds, which are universal across all the items that are going to be crafted, and then you have to make sure that you are farming the specific ember that you need. Now, there's no way to really go after any type of specific ember, but you obviously want higher rarity, and the harder difficulty you're on, the higher chance that you get the higher rarity ember to craft the item. So once you have all the materials you need and you've done enough of those challenges for that specific weapon, you should be able to craft it and then you can craft it multiple times until you get the specific rolls that you want. Now the power level of the item seems to always be the same. It's the secondary stats that can roll different. So depending on the item that you're using, you'll probably want to roll it multiple times to get some secondary stat that you really need. One good example of this is there are multiple armaments that have charges. There are also secondary rolls that can increase the number of charges on your armament. So it essentially gives you extra ammo. That is something that you would want to go after. With that being said, they only allow crafting up to rare items. There were only rare items in the demo. So we'll have to wait to see if this follows suit when we get past rare items into epic, legendary, and masterwork items. But it seems like a fairly reasonable and straightforward crafting system that makes sense for those people that want to grind for the materials. And it's not so RNG that you have to hope that you do a run over and over and over again to get that specific item you want. Instead, you can just go after the materials and craft it. So it, it does make sense. And that's pretty much how crafting works in Anthem, or at least in the VIP demo. If you guys think I missed anything or you have any other questions about how crafting works, throw it down below and we'll talk about it. And if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.